Hey everyone, if you've got an ATEM Mini, ATEM Mini Pro, ATEM Mini Pro ISO Extreme, ATEM Mini Pro ISO Extreme, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you're getting frustrated because you're trying to create a lower third and you just really don't know how to do it. Stay tuned, watch it all the way through to the end because I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make the lower third and put it into your ATEM Mini uh, system so that you can use the lower thirds on screen. It's actually really easy. So follow along step by step. Don't skip any steps because it won't work if you skip any of the steps. So while you're watching it on screen, you'll be able to see it pop up. Bingo, there it is. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do today. Here we go. By the way, if anything I'm saying to you makes sense here, just type in the comments below, makes sense. And give it a big old thumbs up to let me know that you're paying attention. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our browser. We're gonna go to canva.com. And in the top in the search bar, we're gonna type the words YouTube. And I like to use the YouTube thumbnail. Just It doesn't really matter what size you choose, but this one's big enough that it does have some decent resolution. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select an element and I'm going to select a square. You can see it's a square right now, but oh, look at that. Now it is a rectangle and we're going to drag it down over here in the corner. Now I do recommend that if you're doing this on YouTube that you leave a little bit of space at the bottom for the play bar and the pause bar. So we'll just resize it to whatever size we think it should be. Now we're going to go up here to the gray square on the top left here. We're going to click that and we can actually select our color. YouTube is red and white. So I'm going to select red and then I'm going to make my text black. It doesn't matter which text in here you use. You can use any one of them, but for simplicity, I'm going to use this one. You can see that it is currently in black. But what we're going to do is we're going to delete this since 2012 part. And I'm simply going to take this and drag it down here. For those of you who don't know, triple clicking will highlight the entire word instead of right click select all. So I'm going to use Turbo the Tick Nerd. And you can see that this does not fit. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the font color to make it white. So we're just going to click this little A with the rainbow underneath. We're going to make the font white. You can see some of it disappears. And all we're going to do is we're going to drag this out and continually resize it until we have something that fits in the box. Click off and then come back and drag it back in. So this is a very simple lower third. We're not going to get complicated for this section. Now you're ready to click download. Now the one interesting thing about Canva is that you cannot make it transparent unless you're a paying member, but I'm going to show you the free way. And we know it doesn't make a transparent background is we have to put a background in it for the next step. So let's just choose a random color here. Let's make it black. Very simple. The next thing we're going to do is click that download button. We're going to download that. And we're going to move over to photoshop.adobe.com. We're going to now upload the file that we just downloaded. And there it is. Now, this is actually the reason. So if we don't put a background on here, it'll make half of the text and weird stuff disappear. So all we're going to do now is click the remove background. And there we have it. So now we're going to download that apply the changes and you're going to make sure PNG is selected so that you have a very high image quality. Download that and you're done with Photoshop. The next step in the process is to open your ATEM software control and on the bottom you're going to click media and you're going to add in your lower third so what we're going to do is find our image on our computer. We're going to drag it in and drop it right in this position. Now you can see that I've got a couple of them here now, but I'm going to use this one because this is the one we just made. I'm going to drop that into the 
uh, that position over on the right hand side. And that's that's as simple as as you need to get with this. It's not a complicated process. We're going to make sure that we are in the bottom on switcher mode. Your screen should look something similar to this, depending on which ATEM Mini you have. We're going to go to Palettes at the top here, then to DVE, and then we're going to change our fill source to Media Player 1. And that is where it stores all of the other information. So you don't need to have your mask, shadows, or borders on. And then we'll give it a try. We'll select the On Air. Bam, there it is. If you found this video helpful at all, I would really appreciate if you just throw a thumbs up on the video. Maybe you'd like to subscribe. I don't know. But YouTube says you want to see this video next. And that is the subscribe button in the event that you didn't know that throughout the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Turbo the Technic.